people are you able to see my screen yeah you are getting my screen right yes sir fine yes, sir great great sir one minute so okay so as i told you already okay so let's start let's start in such a way that let us understand what is full stack development okay so my class it won't be you know only listening listening but we, we all will be talking but it's not that we'll make a galata something like that but we'll try to learn something and out of that we'll understand where we are we are standing today okay some people told right some i heard that people have done some courses so could anyone tell me what do you mean by this full stack development today we are definitely you are going to learn java full stack Just speak out is not a problem so what is this full stack development full stack development is uh, both front end and back end and database front end back end database great database front end, end back end database okay someone told yes. someone told wait 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 someone told is my my screen is visible right so if i yeah. say full stack full stack or fsd you can say java fsd whatever you want okay so these things so someone tell that front end right and back end and database right my pen is not that much good but it will improve no worries just bear with me today so this is so this is a full stack development anyone else would like to comment anything guys see today let us understand what we are try, going to learn and what we are going to do right so that is very important very very important and after that i'll make you feel that what you learn and what you know and what you don't know and after that only you will be started doing because you people many people have done many things some people have done nothing and some people are also there in this class who are in the final year student so i'll be starting from the scratch okay again i am repeating the same those who knows welcome and those who don't knows please you know brush up see you know the you know okay before going to the full stack let me tell you one story see you know what is software development software devil is nothing but see if i scratch a line if i scratch a line and if i scratch another line so still these are white right so might be people are on these some conditions or full white but you have to do like this so that it will become total black is this clear to all what's the goal we are we are having right so this is the software development you can say man stack mean stack whatever say this is man stack so in the man stack if you want to know so all these thing we have to fill it up we will be coming what are the things we need to fill it up okay so someone told in the first say in the full stack development means the front end back end and database is that is that all understand that this is only the full stack develop development or anything is missing or not so this is what is correct anyone please Why it is picking up silent man? Hmm? Hey, is that I'm audible to you all? Ah yes, sir. Sir, missing a framework like React. Thing. It's a framework, huh? Okay. Full stack is a framework. Okay. Fine. Anything? 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 Speak out! Speak out! People have done courses, right? Already. Speak out. Sir, APIs. APIs. Okay. Then I got framework. I got APIs. See, all are interesting. All are related. Anything? Anything? Yes, sir. APIs means authentication process. Sir. no what i am trying to see authentication is there all project everywhere authentication is there for your gmail login also authentication is there okay for your banking login also authentication is there 
that doesn't mean that full stack mean authentication. So what I'm trying to understand, what consisting of this full stack developer, if you want to be a full stack developer, what are the things you should supposed to know? For example, if you want to become a four wheeler driver, so first of all, you should have a driving license, then you should know the gearing system, then you should know the, you know, all the parts and all these things, how the brakes is working, whether it's automatic, whether it's manual. So all these parts you should know. So then you will be saying that I know driving, okay? I know I can drive a car or something like that. So on, on that perspective, what is a full stack developer? What a full stack developer should be able to do? So that's what I'm trying to understand. So someone told it's a front end development they should be able to do. They should do back end development and they should do database development also. So these three and in between some flying words also I got that's called framework and it's called API. Okay. But I'm not sure how this framework and API should fit fit into this full stack. Uh, Hello. Uh, you know? uh, sir, uh, because full stack developer is a who is capable of developing the both client and server side software. Okay. Hello, sir. I actually I was removed from the meeting because due to internet access. Okay. So okay. Can you please explain F N B B N D B? Can you explain once again, please? See, I haven't explained anything. I'm just talking with you. Just even if you just join, just listen properly. Is nothing started? Just you have started. I'm trying to understand what is what do you mean by full stack developer? If you want to be a full stack developer, then what are the things you should know and you should learn? And because that's what we are going to be, right? So MERN is one of the full stack development path. I'll I'll show you what are the other full, all the other paths are also available in the full stack. But before that, you should know, right? What is the full stack all about? Correct. So this is what I am discussing so far. Got it? Well, so if this is the things, but yeah, someone is telling something. Uh, sir, a full stack developer uh, both works in front end and back end and database and website applications also. Website application also. Uh, yes. Website application can we say? Web applications. Website, Web applications. Website. Pardon? Yeah. See, website can be anything, right? Yes, it yes. can be done in uh, using uh, full stack also using .NET also using Java JTW also using some other technologies also. Full stack development developer means both both works and front end and back end and database also. Hmm, that's what someone told already. Uh, me me also told. Oh, you only told. Okay, fine. Ah uh, yes. So guys, is that you know you are simply keeping quiet? Then then it will be you know. Oh, like in Hindi, so if you know, then if you're keeping quiet, then if I have to take it from you, then it will be difficult for you all. So better you speak out if you know, and if you don't know that listen and learn. See the full stack developer means, what do you mean by full stack developer means? See before full stack developer, actually, I don't want to start from here. We should know the basics of this web development and all these things. So that hope you people have, right? So or shall I uh, straight away jump to the full stack or I should give some 10, 15 minutes to the web development part because this web, web, web development, this full stack is one of the subset of this web development. Do you want to know that part also or you people want to directly start with the full stack? It's up to you. Whatever you, you tell, I'll start on that way. Guys? <laughs> First, it will explain the front end React.js after explaining about React, uh, Node.js and MapDB. Hey, forget about this front end Node.js React and on. First, you should know which is feeding where. What is web development? Hello. After developing the both client and server side software. What is client, sir? And what is server? The client side, some the client means as a customer side. Uh, give me one real time example. What is client and what is server? Means what we see. Sir. In, sir, in, server in is a, daily basis. The server is a work, working on a pre, like a Spring Boot is a, it's a server. And a Spring client Boot is a server. server. Spring Boot is a server. Yes, sir. It is a... And what is client? 
so client is a see, if to... you, you see it's not a problem if you don't know deliberately tell but is no one going to laugh no one going to say anything but end of the day learn properly that's my concern is all about yes sir it's not a problem speak out no problem spring boot is not a server yes part of server definitely for the deployment deployment of the spring boot that definitely is, has been done in some server but spring boot is not a server see the thing is in interviews there are some reject there are some questions the answer of your question okay if i tell that people will stop talking i am not telling for that way so those are the rejection you know answer so don't say any rejection answer in interviews okay here you are telling no problem if you don't know it's, it's not a problem and it is please don't take any anyone personally you, you all are learning my goal is end of the day we should learn okay yes, sir, this, yes. so this chapter is not before that we need to start one more chapter i know okay one minute let it be let us start one more time. Please go and mute. Whoever is not talking, please go and mute. Just a second. Let us understand the web development first. Because end of the day, we will be doing web development only. Fine. Okay, please try to understand. Okay, these things are very basic and and ninety nine percent these stories you won't be there in any books because this is I'm sharing from my sixteen years of development experience. Okay, so see in today's date, whatever we see, for example, take example of mail ID, right? Gmail, you all know, right? You all have Gmail, right? Correct? Yes or no? Sir. Yes, sir. Almost all we are having Gmail, correct? If I have this, so this is my Gmail, correct? Yes, sir. Now, why I open this Gmail? Because what is this client? What is this server? And what is this database and where is happening? What is going on? So with this only we'll try to understand very, very basic note. Okay. And after that, you can, you know, read whatever you want, but I'll just give you the basic information because I don't have much time because if you have to want to learn full stack and non stack. So, but these are the very basics. Okay. Without that, if you go there and that's, it's a crime actually. So think about this Gmail. Now to do, so what are we supposed to do in Gmail? For logging in, we used to give our username and password, correct? And up, we, need, we need to give our username as something at the red gmail.com. And then we say next, and then it locks for the password. And if you give the password, you go to your inbox. It will give you all details. And then if you want to send a mail, if you want to delete it, delete a mail, archive a mail, and then you logged out, right? This is, this is what all these Gmail or mailing activities we used to do, correct? Agree with me or not? Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. But, yes. So, but some more activity now with, with these activities only we'll be learning. What is this development web development? Everything is here. Not only this Gmail, you take any other banking application, any other telecom application, but those are little complex, complex in nature for understanding. So that's the reason I took Gmail. Once you understand this, the pro, actually the software development, web development, what is all about. Okay. So then anything you can feed into. Now, remember this page. Now, all development in the, in the, in the initial days, you know, the, even again, I'm telling this is not man stack. This is not full stack development, but to know that you need it. Please go and mute those who are not talking. Just give me a moment, give me a moment, one moment. Just a second, give me a moment. Otherwise, they're not able to track you all. Difficult for me.
one second. One second means one minute. Not one second. Fine. Hold on. I'm here only. Hold on. Recording in progress. 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 Yeah, is that I'm audible now? Yes. Yeah. So, so what I'm shown in, okay, let's start. So this is the Gmail I talked about, right? Now, what I'm trying to tell you about this Gmail, that web development, what we're going to learn. So thinky, the, the, and the previous days, you know, the previous days in the sense, the long back. So that time web development means there was only a server, client and server. So first here it was client, and here it was server. So client in the terms of what was the client in the previous days, the client in the sense, see for us client is nothing but this one, what we are seeing. So this is called nowadays a client. And the server is the deployment, basically the deployment part where we deploy the application and all this part, whatever happening. So those part is coming to the server. I'll come into the details. Now this is, if I think about the layers, if I split the layer, so this is number one and this is number two, okay? So that means whatever you can see here that if I put inside something will be happening here, some processing will be happening here and after that I'll get the response back. So that the, this is called client server technology. In the previous days, this only client server technology was there. Only some coding and the deployment. And server in terms of old previous days, the server was a file system also, okay? Storage file system also. But now what happened is typical nowadays scenario, if you see this, this, this is called two tier architecture. It's one and two, right? The client and server, this is one client and this is server. So this is called two tier architecture. But if you see in today's date, this two tier architecture is split into three tiers. I'll relate, no worries, I'll relate what I'm talking. So something is called web. The first one is called web. And the second one is called Brisbane business. And the third one is called DAO, data access object, which is nothing but storage, which is nothing but the DB or it can be any file system also. Okay. So now if I think about this, web business and DAO, data access object, DAO or the layers. So how the request is coming? The request hello. is coming from, yes, hello. Yes, so basically the Gmail part where we have to enter the email address or the phone number that is basically called as client. And uh, what is server, sir? I haven't completed. Listen, please. Okay. Be patient and listen, please. Okay. I'll be coming to that. After that, okay. I'll, I'll be giving you the time to ask the question. Okay. 
offline. So this wave is called nothing but client also. Fine. But anyways, the dilemmas are also there. You can see that's wave or client, whatever. And the server is that is called, this is also known as a server nowadays. Server also. Okay. Typically, so client is replaced by web. Server is replaced by our the DAO, the, the data access object layer. Okay. And in between, something inside came that is called business. Business means the business logic, whatever used to write here. Correct. Now coming back, coming to Gmail. Now I am saying whatever you are seeing that is called web. This is web you agree, right? This is what we are seeing on the web. This is you agree, right? Yes or no? This is on web, correct? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. So now, yes, so this is on web. So something we have developed, maybe some technology is XYZ, we'll come to that later. And there we are trying to put something. So that means we are giving, putting some request and that request we are passing to where? Our business layers, correct? For what? To performing some business operation, the, to perform the business logic. The business means the business logic actually, the business logic to perform here. Okay. So we are giving some request. What request we are giving? If I come here, if I say next, if I say next, if I give something, something, if I say next, then we will be giving something to here. Okay. Let me complete it in rough note, then I'll come in details. So one request I perform here and that I given to the, see, suppose, for example, I've given one mail ID. Okay. And after the, something, something, something at the rate gmail.com, if I give, and if I say next, see, something is happening. It's came, right? It's came to the next page and next page is telling I'm not a boot. So, okay. This is one, one validation, one kind of validation. If I say this, if I select this, it's asking for which, which one is the bicycle. So this kind of validation actually Google started. I'll tell you what is this later. Now, if you go to next, again, they're telling what is motorcycle. So it's verified. It's verified, correct? So what it did so far? So far what it did? Hey, I'm, I'm talking to you. Please, please speak out. My, it's it's not movie. You are not watching any movies. So what do we did so far? We have done some verification part, right? Validation part, right? So they are trying to understand whether I'm a boot or not. Correct? Yes, sir. So that is called that, that but still where we are? We are on web only, correct? Yes, sir. So it has done some validation here. Some validation happened here. Correct. You have seen, yes. right? So this validation is called client side validation. Client side validation. Because we are at, we are in client. We are here in client. Correct. It is clear to you all. Are you getting my point? What yes. I'm talking? Yes, so, sir. So we have done it. So see, suppose if you have not done it, so it will giving some verification as something, something it's failure. So that means some verification is there at my client end also. Correct? No. So here also some verification is there. Now, suppose if we pass that, where will be coming? We'll be coming to the next layer. So let me give some proper mail ID. Please understand this. This is very important for your basic knowledge, basic, basic knowledge. Nowhere you will get this understanding. So if I say next, it is coming to coming where for some password, right? If I give the password, well, what will happen? If I give the password, what will happen? We will log in. It will be redirected to the Gmail. Correct. So we'll go log into the Gmail. Now, if I didn't give the password, if I give some wrong password, what will happen? It will yeah, some... So this validation is also whatever you have, what, 
yes whatever you have shown that captcha validation and this kind of validation these validation is happening in these layers only in this in this part only in this part only okay so we are in client part as i told you we are in web or client part okay so in this layer we have done a request but to process that request we are facing some validation that means one minute all of sir okay yes, yes. Uh, how much your time is pending uh, today okay. i'll take 9:30 oh 9:30 okay okay carry on so okay. please today is the introduction session it will take little time okay just let them be in sync then i'll you know okay. it will be okay. as usual okay. time carry on carry on please yeah. so one minute so 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 what happened is so this validation happened in the web correct so we have seen that so previous validation also we have seen this validation also we have seen so this this kind of validation is called client side validation we are at the client part web part and there we have done some validation we are when we are trying to give the request and we face some validation if we able to fulfill that validation then they'll allow us to proceed to the next next means what that we will be going to our gmail gmail inbox now for example if i give this ramesh.pcsglobal@gmail.com and if i give any on any of your password then will it work It's a valid password, but any any one of you, will it work? Okay. In web layer, we have faced client side validation, and we are supposed to enter into the business layer. Now, what I am asking is, if I give any of your password over here, say, will will this work? Yes. No. Why? Yes. So that means yes. someone is there. Means something is there. who is validating this correct so this yes, is sir, my sir. gmail and even though even though if i give my right password i should supposed to land into my gmail only correct not to your gmail yes. so that means what some business logic is processing because whenever i am trying to log in into my gmail account i should supposed to give my password and i should supposed to, to land into my inbox not yours even the vice versa is also true correct so that means yes, i'm trying to make you understand the activity of this business layer what is this business logic the business logic leads to the right direction so that user should fall into the right path that means if i put my proper username and password i should land to my gmail only are you getting my point yes sir i'm talking about software development okay so this is a bare minimal example i can give as a gmail the whole industry is running on it there are typical typical you know crucial business logic which is performing to complete our telecom domain activities banking domain activity activities our uh, you know the robotics domain activities all everything but let us understand the basics then it will be easy for us to understand all fine so we understand so okay correct suppose we have given the right password we have given the right password we have landed over here this is passed suppose this is passed but after passing after coming to the gmail we supposed to see some mail right correct we supposed to see some mail right in the inbox now those are nothing but the data set of data from where those data are coming it it should be somewhere right someone might be see suppose if i ask something from you give me that so you will be giving yeah, from either from your pocket or from your bags or from somewhere you are holding or you will telling it is there in my home i should get it i'll give you tomorrow right suppose if i if i asked you on 5g mobile so you will be telling no sir i don't have that tomorrow i am having it my home but tomorrow i'll show you so that means you are keeping there in home but who is keeping your gmail data where is this gmail data Yes, please. Who is keeping this? Data. Yes, database. Exactly, it is in database. See, previously it was yes. in file system, but now it is in database. But the data, so that is what is called DB. So that means that means to pass this. I said it is passed, but is passing with the help of touching the database, entering to the database, and getting the value from the database. and once it's passed it is again coming back here 
and showing the data here your gmail your inbox data here your inbox data here again wh what you can see in inbox that is nothing but web but the way we got it so this process was request then is process the business logic in the second part to perform this business logic again it needs to connect to the database and not only the database let me tell you very frankly in complex software development it's not only the database but it may be connect to some third party also some third party also so that will be learning when we learning man also man technology that that time we will be learning how from the man stack we can connect to the third party okay because the, these are the java families what we are talking about one java family may connect to the dot net family one java family may connect to the you know uh, some sap family one one java family may connect to the civil sap civil crm family okay to perform this activity yes there are a lot of pains but still that can be taken care by arch architectural process procedure and learning so those thing might be going top of your head let it be let it be but just for the sake of your understanding try to understand what i am talking so here we have requested from gmail okay now we came here just to make sure that this is my inbox my mail id my data what is done it took your username and password as a token okay and with that token it has reached to the database with this request and with that it searched to the database fetched your data suppose and and even if you delete also it's deleting from the database may not exactly on the same time it have some uh, some other technologies are involved up while deleting that will be you know discussing later if you feel interest on that part that then it is showing the data back to you so that means it is passed and it is giving you suppose if it is failed suppose if the business logic is failed failed means it is see is failure is happening here or can happen here also that we have seen if if you are not able to give the captcha properly then you are failing here in the web so client side validation is failed that means you are failing in the web again suppose after giving the proper information also suppose if you give the wrong password also when you trying to entering into the business through the dao so you are failing here so the failure can be here also correct and even after that so this is called server side validation or server side failure but even not only not only that there are some other uh, you know uh, entities also like network entities and sub you know other entities suppose you are working in a internet okay so your power gone so your internet gone so that is a connection entity so that's failed so you are not able to connect for that time so those are human interaction i am not talking about the human interaction but i am talking about our software level what are the interactions are available so 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 in this layer from here to here whatever the data are available so that is called so so this is i call client or web and this is this whole layer i am telling server so what do you understand this client and server in the top what i initially it was two client and server right initially it was two client and server now this client i have just you know molded it from this to this and this server i have molded it from this to this see this server means the logic where you, mm. here also we have the logic here also we have the logic but the the server is treated as our business logic part also our database part also in database also when we are writing query there also we are implementing logic right see suppose select star mm -hmm. from where this is equal to this no 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 i am coming please please go in mute who are not you mean niche baba ke bolo baba ami tomake diye dilam ai bolo acha mute ho jao mute ho jao so please go in mute please don't disturb others so the thing is other otherwise i'll just you know make you out from this so this is so people you understand what i am talking no, here i have so, one question one doubt tell me tell me this is roop so am i audible yeah audible your good name please my name is roop your name is my name is roop sir yeah tell me roop yes so my i have one doubt when you are explaining i was in the class only so uh, where we sign in with the email address or the phone number so that is basically the client and the request rather that what the password or sorry what uh, email what request we are providing that is the password or the email address so it is basically the request passing to uh, the business right correct so after uh, after that we are redirected to the mailbox correct 
What is your doubt? Where is your doubt? What is business what and yes hmm. so my doubt is uh, uh, after that we are redirected to the inbox and the inbox the, the mail what we have so uh, what is that that is data right yes hello yes that is data tell me where is hello? your doubt i'm that's what i'm trying to understand waiting for no your screen is not visible clearly so can you please zoom out no is that all is not able to see my screen no sir it's clearly visible i am joining it's not mobile. visible to you probably you are clearly using uh, mobile tell me your doubt please you are keeping all in hold okay so uh, can you please explain after the we are redirected to the mail mailbox so after that what is happening yeah that's what i told you it's it's depending it's taking your username and password is processing the data and it's going to the database fetching your data and giving back giving back this is my doubt what is the giving back giving back means once you log into the gmail you are see, able to see your inbox yes now this is what is giving back it is coming from the storage see see it's coming from the storage and it is giving back is this picture is not clear to you all you have seen right yes it is yes yes uh, and the black cursor so uh, that is the uh, request is passed or not so can you please explain what is the request that is passed and not passed can you please tell me that what is the request come again that is after the yes after the request is processed so after that in the business uh, your voice is cutting your voice is breaking column you have written past and i am not able to able to hear you properly your voice is breaking Hello. could you be yes please after the after passing the request yeah, tell me hello yes after passing the request can you hello yes tell me so what is passed and what is failed can you please tell me one second what is passed and what is failed that for that you need to understand the coding that i haven't started so do you want to think within 30 minutes session you will be understand everything what is passed and what is failed if you go here there is there is there is something called inspect okay so you run this inspect and we'll be learning this how to do and how to track which request is where which request is how it goes especially when you'll be learning the react and this because the react life cycle is still client layer only it even is doesn't go to the server also so please try to understand without asking unnecessarily un means un you know unnecessarily questions like you know which is not related to the topic if it is related to the topic please ask and be patient to get it so if you want to track a request for a gmail i think no one can do it gmail is google is not that much fool that he can track your request so that anyone can you know crack it and give you one laddu that much smart in is so that is called the security scalability and vulnerability of the application that also we need to learn in the mon stack also are you getting my point max we can see yes, that sir. what is the id we are passing from here for that request for example suppose your username and password for that username there will be one id so that id will be passed and but that for that id also that life cycle of that id will be only that client see you know this kind of unnecessary you know unexpected question it will totally spoil the show if it is related to the topic then it's fine i i encourage all those questions i encourage all those talking but if it is not related if it's something something else so please please avoid that fine now coming back so this was the so as, as of i told you what i what was my motto was so i told you the client server this how this client service break into the web business and do that i explain okay 
and how the request also coming in the to, to forming this request this is okay this is called typically three tier so this this was two tier architecture right so this this was two tier this was two tier but this is three tier architecture this is called three tier architecture architecture wise this is three tier architecture and this is two tier now this three everything is built on three tier architecture only but as i told you when you will be connecting to the third party so you can split this layer also we will be seeing even these layers also can be split down but this left hand side and the right hand side will be as it is left hand side means the web what we are seeing in the web and the right hand side means whatever the app, means whatever the storage the database part or the uh, maybe storage can be anything nowadays what is the popular storage group what is the popular storage nowadays available as a storage mysql sir mysql database mysql is a database i'm i'm, I'm telling you oh, what are the storage are highly in demand nowadays what kind of storage is that is is that is, it's our almira where are you storing sir Anyone? in the drive put in the database sir correct database only but have you heard of cloud something called cloud Yes, so we'll come into that. We'll come into that. Storage, okay, we'll come into that. So there are storage also. There are many parts. So there is also a separate thing. Okay. So please, please let us concentrate where we are and what we are trying to achieve. So we are in the client server. This was two tier. How this client server is split into three tier? That is web, business, and DA or web client or business or DA or server, whatever you say. Okay. So now these, so these are the applications. So now uh, out of these all applications, I said server, right? So apart, so when you're trying to deploy this application, there is something called, it's a database servers, I agree. But apart from this database servers, there is one more server. What is that? There is one more server. Oh. Pardon? There is one more server where the whole database can be deployed. Sorry, whole application can be deployed. See, database server is a server. The DO, DO, sir. DO. Pardon? For GitHub, GitHub, GitHub. No, GitHub is not a server here. Okay, I'll see this kind of answer I required because see these will fill the gap. As I told you, you know, it will fill the gap. GitHub is not a server. See, sir, have you heard a web server or application oh. server? Could you name anyone or any, any web server or application server so far? Guys, have you heard of Tomcat? Have you heard of Apache? Have you heard of JBoss? Have you heard of web logic? Yes, sir. Whatever the application will build, so that application will get in terms of what? Whatever the application will get, that will get in terms of, will get those application in terms of war file. War is nothing but, it's the ER. Inside the ER, we have jar plus war. Have you heard this? These are the very, very important means important question for the interview. So whenever we deploy something and whenever we host something in some server, so so those are the different different application, right? Different different Java file or .NET file, whatever the file. So what those application need to be deployed, maybe in the web server or in the application. What is the difference between the web server and application server? Anyone? Anyone? Learn it. Do it. Google. Sir, Later on, sir, I'll learn it. Which is, sir, which is uh, run in a web browser that is a web server? Hmm. An application server? Sir, I don't know. Okay, it is available everywhere. System, uh, sir, application is a mobile app that is application server. Is that mobile app only the application server? There is no other application server available? Okay, after this class, go to the Google, uh, see the difference of web server and application server, and we'll discuss next class. Come, coming back. So now this whole application is deploying in the server. Okay. Maybe in the web or application, it is deploying. So after deployment, we are getting, as I told you, the war year or something like that. Okay. So this was the previous story, but now this story also got changed. Something came called Wisdel. Anyone knows this? What is this Wisdel? Web service definition language. So this Wisdel came. So we can expose everything as a service. So initially it came as a whistle. 
but nowadays is nothing but a json so this thing i'm just telling the just to make you understand that i'll be frequently 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 i'll be using this json this year uh, this application server this web this business this dao this database this server so these terminologies i'll be talking again 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 and again so be just to before go it's just to you know to put into that path you should know all these terminologies where where it is used how it is used and how it is going on okay now okay now let me close this so this is the basic part okay if you complete this request in, the, in this similar way all not only the not only your gmail not only your gmail here but suppose if you go if you go to state bank of india no see online sbi if you go here so here also the same story if you come to login here if you give something suppose if you log in if you didn't give anything see if it's telling you enter username so that means a client side validation if, if even if you enter your username here something like that if you give see it is giving telling you enter the password so suppose even if you are giving the password also all it is happening the client side validation suppose you are given the password then you will give the captcha see see next audio or the captcha something like that so even if you give it it will be showing that it's a wrong one if i give also m5 just to make you understand m5c so if now if i try to log in also what is telling see dear customer password change no see invalid username and password so because i have given the fake username and password right so this is the server side validation happened it has went to the server and checked whether this user exists or not hope you understand the difference between the client side and server side validation now coming coming back quickly so this is what i told about the web development today's web development standing on this kind of architecture two tier architecture three tier architecture three tier architecture mean web business dao or web client business or dao or server okay previously which was only the client and server so now now if you coming back again the same or full stack development also is standing on the same bracket same bus, same 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 umbrella will be will be taking and we'll just feed, feed here what are the our technologies feeding here what is the technologies we are going to learn and what are the uh, technologies coming in which layer and then separately we will be learning those one by one those technologies is this clear to you all so far so that i can go to the full stack so far whatever we discuss something we got yes. some understanding yes even the same yes, in the telecom yes. any development okay now just a second now now quickly quickly before starting see the full stack okay. one minute give me a second now the full stack since you people have done something even some assignment also i'll be giving not assignments so your learning purpose so because this is not a movie shows here all have to work if you have you want to grow fine now coming back so now coming to the full stack development what i was talking is so here your full stack development is now someone is told so i am directly jumping to the this fsd so fsd means we will be learning the man stack so anyone know what is this man man is for mongo mongo what db yes the mongo DB express for? react node express r for react and node react and for node could you no. now 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 if i have the same thing this web or client and then if i have that business and now sorry sorry and now if i have this dao now could anyone tell me where this man stack is falling which technology is falling where so react is nothing Sir. but our client yes and that business logic is given by express express right Yes. then mongo db is database here express plus node node here mongo is that you able to relate now yes sir. yes what sir. we are doing now these are the separate separate technologies react Mong mongo db is a separate database react is a you know uh, web layer technologies 
or client side technologies express and note it will show you how to expose a service or how to consume a service you know so previous days whatever happened is you know all these uh, as i showed you the web uh, business do whatever the technologies was there in initially it, in the java family it was nothing but the user in, in implementation and interface and implementation again one interface and implementation so and here one java class probably this java class will come in. what happened is in years so what happened is so initially so suppose this is a java class so this java class will talk to this interface and this interface will talk to this implementation this will talk to this and this will talk to this interface and this in, in, in interface will talk to this implementation and this implementation in turns will talk to the database or whatever the server and the vice versa is also true and it will go back in the same way the way it came back so this was in the previous days but 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 now it is not like it is not like that at all but whenever we will be learning this react our uh, react here then we will be learning here our express and node and what we will be learning here our your mongo so that these stories are little different because we will be everything will be consumed as a service so that i'll be starting that full stack tomorrow actually maybe today is uh, too much but these basics understandings are very 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 important okay see whatever you if you don't know please learn it i'm telling you please learn it and if you know and i tell you these information you not get in a book so the thing is this these this kind of understanding this kind of realizations you will be having maybe after working 5 or 6 years of time so i am giving you this capsule before you entering into your development career so please try to get is digest is as much as possible now now so this is this is what is man all about now to learn man Say or not, Adu. Hello, is that I'm audible? Yeah, now. Oh, sorry. So what I'm asking is, sorry, sorry, I I gone in mute. Sorry. So what I'm asking is, ah, uh, before learning this man stack, what are the what are the things we should know? We'll be ending up with this. And tomorrow we'll start month. Tomorrow means the next class. So, what are the prerequisites you should have? What are the prerequisites you should have? Or simply you can learn, guys. I'm asking to you people here. I don't know why you are not talking. Yes, sir. So, what are the things you should know? If you don't know. Anna, before React, before this, what I told you, before React and everything, what are the things you should know? One is called HTML. HTML, CSS. Another is called CSS. Another Java is called Java JavaScript. Yes. What is this HTML? Hypertext markup. What What we used to do with that? We used to go to market with that, or we used to Content. go. We used to Yes, please. It is a. It is fronted, fronted in the middle. Yeah, all it are fronted only. Story. This HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all are fronted. JavaScript, some logic also is to write. That's also fronted something like that. But this HTML, CSS, all are fronted only. Okay. 
but what is this so it is used for styling purpose styling purpose someone tell uh, some styling purpose very good very good styling purpose uh, styling is html styling purpose or css styling purpose no sir both html and css is used for styling uh, we can uh, do html and after that uh, we can use style for make them see if i have to make a skeleton yeah. skeleton means you know the structure the structure the structure of something so skeleton what is the skeleton of human body bones sir only the bones bones of the whole what do you call that I don't know why you didn't speak out here. I'm not asking technology. The CSS is nothing but the look and feel. And JavaScript is nothing but the logic. Correct. Logic. So these are the things we should know. Now, if you want to become a full stack developer, now if i try to draw a stack of this okay if i put html here in the top how much html you should know to start a full stack developer minimum 70 to 80 percent of full 70 to 80 percent of html you should know or you should aware to start with that mon stack technology whatever i told you because there are a lot of things you need to learn and that particular time, if you didn't start this, didn't stand this, understand this HTML, then it's very difficult. Now CSS, the percentage of the minimum percentage I'm telling the CSS you should know is 50 to 60 percent of CSS you should aware so that we can proceed further. And then HTML, sorry HTML is done. Then JavaScript, JS, JavaScript, JavaScript at least 50 percent is JavaScript. You you need need to know. So I. See, to learn this, I assume that you people know this. If you don't know this, then you are unfortunate and it is my bad luck. Because when I'll be talking about React, when I'm talking about Node, when I'm talking about Mongo, when I'll be talking about Express and when I'm trying to connect them all at one by one, then it will go from top of your head because you don't know the basics. So these basics are nothing but this. And last but not the least, what are the things you should know with all this? Note it down if it's possible, because these are the things I won't be repeating since it's the first class and this is not a under one stack coming also. But I'm helpless because it has to be taken care. If you don't know, then I'm helpless. I'm really helpless. Now in HTML, in HTML, what are the things you, you can note it down, please? In HTML, what are the things you can know? Basic page layout you should know. Okay. Page layout, then button, headings, paragraph, links. So those things you should know. And for this HTML, you can refer to w3schools.com. The very basics, even for this HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I'm telling. So the basic part of the page layout, button, headings, paragraph links, all these things, you know, and the second part of the CSS, what you need to know the, you know, image cloning, cloning part, image background, ID, what is ID, what is class, what is padding, what is margin and all these things, you know, and even in the, let me tell you one story here in the CSS part. So there are some shortcut of CSS are available that is called bootstrap. Probably you heard of, have you heard of? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is that? Yes, sir. No, sir. What is this? It's a framework. Correct. This is a framework. Framework of CSS. Actually. Framework. Yes, exactly. Yes, this is a framework. Yes, Even not only this, there is something called Tailwind. Tailwind. Correct. So these are the CSS framework. So see, with the CSS help of CSS, already they have built or they have given some library. Responsive okay. design. Correct. So those library you need to know and you need to use. But basic is the CSS. Even if you don't know also, it's not a problem. But what, what the, the, the beauty of this uh, bootstrap telnet is because everything is already they have done in a very, you know, uh, mature way so that you can make use of those, their efforts. 
okay so but in css you have to do it you have to do a little hard work but not a problem we will be doing using css only because our learning should starting from the css so html i told page layout buttons heading paragraph links and all this part and the css part was as i told you the you know the image cloning cloning image background id class padding merging all this thing you'll get in the w3school.it it will take hardly you know one hour or i i say max even if you take tea coffee and some break also it will take hardly one and a half hour or two hours okay so if you spend the eight hours for this html css javascript is enough you take 1.5 1.5 for html and css and rest four hours or five hours you give for javascript but javascript does not come in one day it will it will take some time in javascript also you know there are some variable constant function if while loops and all these things you need to know continuous statement break statement and the most important in the javascript is the how to fetch the id we will be will be playing with those ids in javascript okay but still in the javascript there are some callback and promises are also there if the time permits i will be discussing with that because we will be playing with those promises and callback okay because those those are very very important very very important and some basic program also you should do in the javascript like you no know, string reversal palindrome sum of digit so it will be you know hands on for you just to you know to play with are you getting so this so the prerequisite is the three html csn and javascript so that you are going to prepare as i told you so those things are very very basics and you need to do it from your own it is not coming into our this month stack because i don't have the time to do this so but if you are not able to do so before the next class please give some time go to w3school.com learn html learn css css learn javascript then next we will be seeing what the next we can do now last but not the least i'll be just ending up with this the thing is as i asked you in the initial time what is the full stack development so that will give you a hint the first the full stack development is as you told able to create front end able to create back end now hope now you understand what is front end what is back end right able to can which is standing well again the that three yes, layers sir. again the yes, three layer web business and dao uh, database so you know which is standing where and able to create database and plus along with this for a full stack developer see if he is a simple java developer or some dot net developer they can have they knows only back end only a uh, front end and only database you know there is one field one is post called dba database administrator okay so so that job is only to knowing the database administrator part but nowadays the full stack developer fsd fsd is demanding more more in the sense you have to be front end back end database plus you should able to anyone plus you know anyone able to deploy deploy the application someone told git and github as a server right i heard someone told git and github correct as a server now for this deployment part git and github will be coming so that all details i'll be discussing in the next class but hope you have you, you understood the basic part to become a full stack developer you need to know these basics html css and javascript which is taking in the 80% 50% 50% at the basic knowledge you should have as html css javascript and you know for any page if you take any page here if you for example if you take this page now 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 if we, if, if i go see it is if it is not allowing to inspect also because this is the banking domain so even if you go to this if you go any any page if you take and if you go see what you can see here if you go to inspect okay if you go to inspect you see this see this part is see it is it is changing okay so 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 this part of code is here if you go to the source source file here actually it is i'll show you while we'll be coding so these are the basic see so so these are the basic parts are you know defined here so if if you see if you come here if you if you inspect this see see it is it is showing your pages see so so if you, if i click here if i in, in, inspect this if i click here what is coming here so behind this this code is there this kind of a, a element dot style css it has been used okay so so this the, everything you, you can see here so these are the html so as i told you the html is nothing but the skeleton of the body and again that is something called dom one maybe 10 15 minutes i'll talk to you about dom everything is on dom 
and to understand react dom is also very very important okay so everything see today might be i am talking many things many terminologies i am talking but i am helpless i am helpless because all these terminologies i'll be repeating again and again and if you are not habituated you are not able to digest then it is you know we are unfortunate so maybe the first day it it's taking some time but uh, i hope gradually it will be day by day we'll improve ourselves and so the homework is for you is html css and javascript i prefer go to the wcschool.com if you have anything you you want youtube one and one more thing nowadays we have youtube so that is the one more distraction part of our life why why because in our days youtube was not there so both thing is there advantage deet advantage is that we we used to learn but after seeing that if you only see this youtube you will be learning zero you will your execution capability will be zero 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 until and unless you are executing that by your hand means you are doing that by your hand whatever you are seeing that you have to execute through your hand so then only you will able to learn something whatever you see that used to be in your volatile memory of our brain but when you practice something that try to reach in our permanent memory because already our brain is full of lot of things lot of boyfriend girlfriend lot of gossip lot of things because even entertain entertain those thing not a problem but if you have to give the space of this monstag html css and javascript and this react mongo uh, node and um, express then you have to do some hands on not only reading first reading is important then hands on also you have to do so for that reason what i suggest to you is why i told people used to tell is w3school.com the beauty of this w3school.com is you will be having one built in editor over here suppose for example if you are learning html and in some html suppose you are learning html colors so if suppose we are in html colors now if you try yourself this page is there now suppose all these colors are that is coming here suppose if i chop out this if i chop out this color now if i say run see one gone now if i chop all this if i chop all this and if i say run only one will be there see only one is there so uh, means on the front you can practice yourself it is not only it's not only the html but it's applicable for css and javascript also you will give one editor built in editor okay so this is all guys this is all for today is that anything you would like to ask me through our in today's discussion we will be learning just but the thing is my part is it is not only me talking you all you all will be talking and please please i will be requesting you today might be you are see suppose if this is the page if this is empty today also i never mind but please try to fill it up please please try to fill it up end of the day when you, this this will be feeling like this and it will be completed like this then you can say you are a full stack developer and which is consist of all this technology and before that this html css and javascript and the deployment part also we will be learning if you are interested even that is not the part of the full stack but i'll be telling you how this deployment happen using this git github and all these stories okay real time stories and using the devops also one more interesting thing is devops okay so that is not there is other part but i'll tell you i'll tell you that okay as is the the at least i'll touch you that okay how actually the because the whole picture you should know then you should able to fit yourself what you know because in the in the coming days when suppose you will be working in something or you will be going to some big companies or you will be facing some interview that time you should claim yourself that i know this ask me from this i don't know that don't ask me that even that is not allowed always but they should ask what your cv is talking about okay guys is that any question you have anyone so far in today's day today's uh, class we will be starting full stack to in the next class anyone guys anyone no sir so thank no, you sir. then thank no, you very sir. much yes yeah thank you very much yeah okay guys thank you thanks good night good night good night tomorrow lecture timing yeah. Yeah, that that lecture. timing timing will HR will let you know. Okay, no worries on that part. HR will yeah. let you know the timing. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine.